what you just heard is called the last post. The sounds of the trumpets signify the close of the funeral service of Queen Elizabeth II at Westminster Abbey. Now this piece is an 18th century military bago call which gained significance as a sacred anthem of remembrance. Well, that is the reveal which has been played before. Another military call traditionally used for walking soldiers at sunrise. The national anthem has also been sung at Westminster Abbey. Then a lament from the Queen's Piper will then bring the service to a close. That is the Queen's Piper fading away into the Westminster Abbey, signifying the close of the funeral service. And also we had the national anthem with the words, God save the Queen, signifying also the end of the service. Before the coffin is taken away for committal and burial at Windsor, now our door will swing shut and a reign of 70 years will come to a close now. Over decades of wrenching change, the Queen represented constancy for a largely still conservative country. That profile on the stumps, that voice at Christmas, that bowed head on Remembrance Sunday is no more. For 10 rather bewildering days 
The world has been speaking about the Queen and what she endeavoured to do during her reign. It remains to be seen if the new king and the new monarch will continue with the Queen's legacy going on. Andrew Whitehead is an author and also a journalist. Andrew, it's all over now. Well, the Westminster Abbey uh, service is over, but the ceremonial is, is not over. So there'll now be a procession uh, behind the coffin, which the royal family will join into. And that procession will go from Westminster Abbey to the Wellington Arch, which is near Buckingham Palace. So that is likely to take, I'd have thought, 20 minutes to half an hour. And then uh, the Queen's coffin will be placed in a hearse and driven, uh, but slowly and solemnly, to Windsor Castle, which is about 25, 30 miles uh, west of London. And there at King George's Chapel at Windsor, in about seven hours' time, uh, the Queen's body will be interred next to that of her late husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. So we've had a great deal of ceremonial and the funeral service is over, but there are more uh, events and tribute to uh, the Queen still to take place through the day. Thank you very much. Andrew Whitehead is an author and also journalist. Thank you for all your inputs throughout the day. We'll see you next time. So the service is over right now. The coffin is taken away for committal. There will be another procession from Westminster Abbey all the way to Windsor, where the body of the late Queen Elizabeth II will be interred next to her husband, Prince Philip. Let me give you the significance of this chapel and the significance of Westminster Abbey. Now the Queen will be laid to rest in the King George VI Memorial Chapel alongside her mother, father, sister and husband. However, she will not be joining other royals interred in the royal vault beneath the chapel. This memorial chapel was designed by George Pace. Its construction was completed in 1969. It was commissioned by the Queen as a final resting place for her father, King George VI. The King died at the age of 56 in 1953. His death was unexpected. This left the crown without a specific resting place for the King. So at that time, the king's body was interred in the royal vault. The royal vault has been the final resting place for a long list of royals. These included 18th and 19th century royals, including George III. But with no place to accommodate a second vault at St. George's, the construction of a second chantry chapel was decided upon. Queen Elizabeth II also rejected the idea of traditional marble chest tomb for her father. Instead, the king's grave was marked with a simple stone of black Belgian marble. Now the death of the queen means that her family will finally be laid to rest together. The queen mother, also called Elizabeth, was buried in the chapel on April 9th, 2002. Her sister Margaret, or her ashes were also moved to the chapel from the royal vault. Philip, who died in April 2021, left instructions for his remains to be transferred from the royal vault to the memorial chapel on his wife's death. So what is happening now, the coffin bearing the remains of the late Queen Elizabeth II is now moving away from Westminster Abbey all the way to Windsor. And following her are her children, 
and the whole family. So there will be a procession from Westminster Abbey to Windsor where the body of the late Queen Elizabeth II will be interred and like I mentioned, next to her husband, Prince Philip. This is live in London, Westminster Abbey, where the funeral service of the late Queen Elizabeth just took place and has ended. Now there's another procession of where the body or the coffin will be taken from Westminster Abbey all the way to Windsor, where Londoners and Britain will say farewell to their Queen. The hymns will continue playing at Westminster Abbey until the coffin reaches Windsor Castle where her body will be interred next to her husband Prince Philip. This is a significant day for the whole world as we bid farewell to Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in history who died at the age of 96 on the 8th of September 2022. Dignitaries, lots of them, have attended the funeral service of the late Queen. We also had, uh, during the sermon, Archbishop of Canterbury said, the late Queen touched a multitude of lives during her 70 year reign. What is on, laid on her coffin is all of significance as well. Her coffin is draped in flags and topped by the imperial state crown. And like I mentioned, hundreds of dignitaries are there, including the Queen's former prime ministers, as well as US President Joe Biden. We have uh, French President Emmanuel Macron and this gathering at uh, Westminster Abbey had a total of over 2,000 participants in the funeral service.
if you pay attention to the coffin, there's actually a handwritten letter or card, I should say, on top of the Queen's coffin, which reads, in loving and devoted memory, Charles R. That's a card that has been placed there by the King in memory of his mother. It's a white, small white piece, piece of paper on top of the flowers. It's actually a handwritten card by the king himself, a message to his mother. And I believe the card is reading, in loving and devoted memory, Charles R. So this is another procession from Westminster Abbey all the way to Windsor Castle, where the body of the late Queen Elizabeth II will be interred once again next to her husband, Prince Philip. This brings a close of 70 years of reign and the second Elizabethan era came to a close on the 8th of September 2022 when the Queen, the longest reigning monarch, passed away at the age of 96. Britain has a new monarchy in the name of King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla. So the coffin has been placed on the gun carriage by the Royal Navy sailors and it will now proceed from Westminster Abbey all the way to Windsor where her body will be interred a short while from now. A moment of silence. So this is the Royal Navy sailors who will now proceed from Westminster, Westminster Abbey all the way to Windsor Castle. And the coffin has been placed on the gun carriage by the Royal Navy sailors who will now proceed from Westminster Abbey all the way to Windsor Castle. And following the coffin behind is the Queen's family led by the king and the queen consort all her children grandchildren and great-grandchildren joining us now in this broadcast is an international affairs expert kadira pethiagoda from london kadira is such a somber mood in london at this moment but what can you tell us about this ceremony, the significance of it, and going forward, the future for Britain? Yes, well, I think the significance of this ceremony is um, uh, many fold. I mean, uh, obviously, you've had the, the longest reigning monarch uh, pass away, uh, someone that united the country for uh, the last uh, 70 years. Um, you know, you have people of all different kinds of political persuasions having uh, an affinity for uh, Her Late Majesty. Um, 
and then you've got uh, the the world, in, you know, the country in a state of extreme crisis at the moment. So uh, this kind of uh, display of national symbolism is extremely important, and I think the government. Uh, under Liz Trust would be very aware of that and they'd be trying uh, to use this occasion uh, to sort of, uh, I guess, uh, bring bring back some of that uh, support and trust for the institutions. Um, and also, you know, for, for the monarchy itself, because the Queen was quite popular um, and they want to ensure that continues with uh, King Charles. You know, the Queen's death happened when uh, she was still wearing the crown and this funeral procession is of great significance because it has never been seen um, not until the death of King George VI. Probably you can tell us what to look out for as this procession heads to Windsor Castle where her body will be interred and I understand that the procession from the Abbey uh, goes right now to Wellington Arch and then proceeds to wins a castle. So Kadira, yeah, probably so you can tell us the significance of all this or what is happening right now. Yeah, so uh, it's um, it'll proceed uh, the, the way we're seeing it now until uh, Wellington Arch at Hyde Park Corner. Um, and you've got crowds gathered uh, in, in Hyde Park uh, to see it as well. And then it'll be transferred uh, into the hearse um, where it'll be driven uh, along uh, the major roads uh, up to uh, Windsor Castle um, and uh, in turn there uh, I think with her, her uh, late father um, and so I think it's you know it, the symbolism of, of having it uh, go along the, these roads which are, are sort of what is considered I guess the heart of, uh, of England in terms of the, the home counties and you know uh, that also reflects some of the divisions in the country um, it gives people a chance uh, to, to you know spread along that whole uh, pathway and 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 get a glimpse of it uh, themselves Kadira like we saw with uh, Princess Diana's funeral we saw many mourners throwing flowers, but uh, this will not happen to the Queen, right? Well, this is a much more formal uh, kind of uh, occasion, I guess, because she was obviously the sovereign of the state. Um, and the, you know, even though that is symbolic in, in legal terms, it does have uh, a certain degree of constitutional weight. And so uh, it is far more official uh, than uh, Princess Diana's uh, funeral. But I think there is an important link there because I think it was really during Diana's uh, funeral that we saw the, this sort of evolution of, of culture in Britain and British culture, where it did become a bit more American in the sense of this public kind of show of emotion uh, for Diana, which we hadn't seen really uh, in the past uh, in Britain before that. Now you're seeing it again uh, with the Queen. All right, Kadira, stay with me uh, for a moment. Uh, I just want to tell our viewers what is currently happening. This is the funeral procession uh, from Westminster Abbey. It will head to Horse Guards Parade, the Mall, Buckingham Palace, all the way to Wellington Arch, and finally to Windsor Castle, where her body will be interred next to her late husband, Prince Philip.
this is the funeral procession for the late Queen Elizabeth II, the King and his siblings and children who served in the armed forces saluted as the sailors turned and moved away from Westminster Abbey, ready to lead her way or away from the Abbey where she married and was crowned. Now the procession will head from Westminster Abbey all the way to Horse, Horse Guards Parade, the Mall, Buckingham Palace, to Wellington Arch, and finally to Windsor Castle.